so w when did you start having like uh like meeting celebrities and shit because i feel like a lot of times your videos now are sort of more honed in on like well some of the, the videos that we talk about the <laughs> most are basically like making fun of the weird shit that rappers do yeah no 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 you know it's crazy about that it's just because i've been around them a lot so whatever right. i'm seeing it's like i have to attack that but right. i've been around i mean i've been around anytime i've seen anything a lot of my comedy will come from like real like shit you know what i'm saying so i like to hit on like that real shit where it's like you know you've seen that before mm -hmm. or like it's just gonna hit different but not nah, the reason why i've been coming at that because i've been out here in la for like the past two months during this pandemic it's like you mm -hmm. know I, I'm, I'm meeting all these celebrities that are like fans of me or I'm becoming friends with them, and it's like, yo, when I'm chilling around them, I notice little things, and I'll just like, yo, I have to do a video on that. Like, One of my hilarious. favorite things is how you're you're in front of the Instagram, like how rappers be on Instagram live, and you got like the link up under your arm, rolling the blood, sucking on the blood, and talking to the Instagram yeah. live, being like, oh, yeah. hey, what up? Uh, yeah. And then you start reading what they're saying, and then hey, you, you get can real barely fat. fucking read. <laughs> but bro, that is such it's a real consistent subtle. thing with rappers. It's real shit. They always be juggling mad shit on Instagram Like, why live. are you holding it like a fucking bitch? Dudes hold their link cup like a baby. I'm protecting this shit more than anything I have right. on me. Like it's crazy though. But I notice little shit like that. Like I, I'll mm -hmm. be around them and be like, yo, you haven't put that fucking cup down yet. Like, <laughs> yo, you're literally yeah. cradling like a baby. But it's just little shit like that. It's like wow. But then you start to realize when you actually are drinking lean that it's like, oh, if there's like a hundred fifty dollars, two hundred dollars worth yeah. of shit in that yeah. cup, and anybody yeah. could just take a sip or anybody could knock it over, you oh, start yeah. getting oh, paranoid. Nah. You know? they, oh, they take that serious as oh, yeah. fuck. Like even a little drop, they're looking at it like, <laughs> like outside the bottle. It's like, yo, you don't have to, dog. Uh, but I guess since it's so expensive, it's like, yo, we're not wasting shit of that. Like, yeah. One it's time they were shooting a music video behind my old store and there was like a white kid who was rapping and yeah. the lean man came through with like six <sighs> pints or some shit, puts them all over the car and shit. And then while, while dude is rapping, the white kid knocks over one of the pints and steps on it and crushes the whole thing. There's a whole pint spread out all over the ground. Some of the dudes there watching this happen want to lick it off the ground. It was like they had just seen a newborn die want in front of their eyes. It was it so upsetting, bro. It's, I think that's like the worst addiction though. I've seen some people like that I've been around like really crash mm. out behind like lean. Like that's like a bad addiction. Like every you can really go to Atlanta right now, you're gonna see dudes that look pregnant, skinny as mm. shit, chest fucking flat as fuck. Yeah. Got a gut like a pregnant bitch. Yeah, you can spot it a mile away because oh, their body just grows yes. in like yes. the way that's yes. so it's specific. Lean, lean is it's sad, bro. It's so many wait, did you got ants in this bitch? <laughs> Do we? Yeah, I might need say. to mop this table. Right, 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 right. What the fuck's going on? Nah, <laughs> but uh, that nah, that that shit is a real thing, though. I've seen people quit lean, and the, and everything on their body stays the same, but the gut just goes down so much. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, happens so. I don't, fast. I don't know what it is about that, though. I don't know where the f is the lean just fucking storing in your stomach. I don't know. It's just mad sugar and just I don't know. What oh, because it, it comes it with the sodas. That's like. Yeah. Hello, sugary. Well, that's actually the thing too. Is if you like the amount of soda that a lean head drinks alone would yeah. be insanely bad for them, and then you yeah. throw in the lean on top of it, yeah. and that's just even you worse. know it's this new shit called uh, fucking whippets. Oh yeah, that's a new thing that is f because people crash. To out. me, your like your best character is when you're basically <laughs> playing like a member of YSL, like you're somebody <laughs> within the Young Thug universe. <laughs> 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 Maybe not specifically, but like in that general area. And yeah, yeah the whippets kind of took over the YSL. So planet. Oh man. no, whippets took over fucking anywhere out here in Hollywood. I see fucking everybody. So doing you see that. it all the time? All the time. Oh, okay. Like you literally will be at a party, all you hear is Yep. Like what the fuck was that? Mm hmm It sounds like I don't even know what the fuck that is, because it's like a little bullet. Yeah. You just see them and you'll hear it drop. People like bing. It's nitrous ground. oxide, and it's just like it's crazy because I used to go to like you know festivals in England and shit out there. Just literally random, super normal. But now all of a sudden it's like a rapper thing. Like oh, yeah, I, I that's never like some cool never shit. heard a rapper in my whole life talk about taking like whippets, cool, and now all of a sudden cool it's taking over. It's fuck your brain over now. Oh yeah, that shit is first bad it was like you. fucking your lungs and like your kidneys and shit. Now it's like yeah, we're, we need some other place mm. on the body to fuck up to you, make it cool. You, you never get a try. You never took a whippet. Hell no. I had a roommate that crashed out behind that shit. Though. For real. That's how I know about it. Mm. I had a roommate at the. First squads at GGC. Okay. Literally had to get the ambulance to come get him out of his room. Wow. Passed out in, in his room. A whole bunch of like metal bullets around him. Right. It was just all whippets. He was in there the whole night. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's crazy because it actually, if you do it, it feels good, but it feels yeah. good for like 
a minute. Yeah, hell yeah. And then you want to do it again. Yeah. So it's like if you don't have the thing in your brain that's like, oh, I'm not, you shouldn't do this a million <laughs> times. Yeah. And then you'll just do it a million times. And yeah. it's really, really bad. You seen the video of uh, Gun on Live yeah. doing it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just it's like, out. what the fuck is, I don't even know, man. That's, that shit. I don't know. I, well, we we haven't. I, I don't feel like people have done it long enough to know what the bad shit is. Well, it is. In, in this particular world, yeah. But well, that's actually kind of the thing about it though is that it's like people don't. You, you got to watch the old Steve-O documentaries if you want to see. He what was it's, doing whippets. He was so bad off it. He almost Get the died fuck and shit. Out of here. Yes, he was doing more. Than, I thought he was doing coke though. Come on, bro. I think he was doing everything else while he was doing yeah, whippets. He was doing shit in his ass and all that. In his ass? Yeah, he was putting like pills in his ass, wasn't he? Uh, I don't know, man. Shit, did people get to that? Point? Nah, Steve was on some freak shit. I've seen some, girls like, put drugs. an ecstasy in their ass before. You know, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking regular. That's nah, normal. but uh, we're talking about Steve though, man. That's, <laughs> nah, Steve-O. but it's it's bad though. I feel like anytime you got to put anything in your ass, yeah, you're going too far. You know, and one time I was out uh, doing mo- too far. like ten years ago, I was out doing Wait, Molly in, where in is Texas. This going, and, I know, right? But I was so fucked up just out at bars and stuff. I ended up talking to some army dude who told me like I shoot up every single drug that I do. He's like, if I'm gonna do ecstasy, I fucking melt it down, put it in the syringe, and shoot that shit up, and it hits you way harder. So you're like, yo, I got to try that. I never tried it, but it no, sounds I thought, crazy. I thought that's where that story was going. Like, yeah, so I shoot up everything I fucking do now. What? No, nah, that would be lit, though. Nah, yeah. nah, Every time nah. I'm smoke a blunt, I just boil it down, <laughs> throw it in the syringe. There you go. Do you hear this thing? Hey, what was the feeling like when you first saw Drake wearing your uh, that hoodie oh, you sent him or whatever? nuts. Nuts. Literally, I was just like, yo. But no, nah, I feel like now it's... I would. I really didn't even trip about it because when I became friends with him, it was just literally like a genuine mm. like friendship. Like I wouldn't. It wasn't even on no fan shit. Did he just hit you up on Instagram or something? Yeah. What was the first time? Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I think he hit me up on Instagram. But I, I, I noticed that he had liked my shit a long time ago. Right. I had like no followers. Like I had probably less than a hundred thousand. Right. And he liked my shit. It was a way back, and I was like, what the fuck? Mm. Like people like this are literally watching. wasn't following me nothing. He just liked it, and he, I seen him like a couple more stuff. And he DM'd me one day, and he was just like, yo, like, this is, like, my favorite page. Like, you're literally the funniest dude on here. And I was just like, yo, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, but it was, after that, we just had, like, multiple different conversations. He's a cool guy, mm-hmm. down to earth. And now it's just, like, on some friends shit. So when he wore that, I wasn't even, like, really, like, oh, fuck. It was just like, mm. damn, that means he genuinely, like, fucks with me. Like, he, it wasn't even on no, like, you know what I'm saying? You should post this. I literally asked him, like, yo. Are you cool with me posting the video? Because he just sent it to me to show me, like, yo, I got your package. Right. But I screen recorded, and I was just like, out of respect, would you trip if I posted this? And he was like, no, nah, you're good, you're good. Right. Yeah, so. That's crazy. A cool guy, though. Real, you, real, real, real cool dude. You met Thug and all them? Yeah, hell yeah. Was Thug like, yo, maybe you should join my crew because you kind of are acting like <laughs> us on the internet already? <laughs> nah, nah. I'm, I'm, uh, uh, Jerrica, I'm, I'm cool with Jerrica because oh, she, she likes my stuff. Yeah. She's tight, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Jerrica. I'm cool with her, but... uh. Nah, it's just really me and him had a conversation just through my boy Ben, though. Uh-huh. But not nothing like we were just literally at the crib chilling. But I wouldn't say like, oh, yeah, I know Thug. Right. But, I mean, I've been around him but a couple you times. You still haven't cool like guy. done an impression of a rapper that took it far enough that they got upset about it? It hasn't got that far? Uh, I used to I used to uh, impersonate CEOP and Lil Baby. I saw and some And I of used those, to yeah. think that they would get mad at that. And for some reason, I thought Lil Baby didn't like it. I don't know if he did or didn't. But, like, now he comes around. He's like, yo, you're funny as fuck and, like, shit like that. So maybe he wasn't mad for Mm. real. But I thought he was because a lot of people would be like, yo, that's really how it is. Like, you're making a joke of some real shit. Right. Like, you're making a joke of some real shit. I was like, nah, fuck out of here. They know it's jokes. Yeah. But really... Like, no, nah, I don't think he knows that's jokes. Like, I, he might not genuinely like that you do that. Yeah, some people, they just, like, aren't going to be able to take yeah. jokes about themselves, yeah. which is unfortunate yeah. because that's, like, once you, if you get as famous as a little baby, then you're mm-hmm. just going to have to be able to accept mm-hmm. that shit. But, I mean, at the same time, it's, like, you got all these millions of dollars and yeah, shit. Man. You travel in the world. Like, yeah. I don't know. It shouldn't be too hard to get over. <laughs> but, no, nah, I haven't really pissed nobody off or nothing because you got to understand. My shit, it's funny, bro, because if you can't mm-hmm. laugh at your, like, come on, man. Definitely. It's jokes. Like, it's not... I've never had that beefing thing, though, like, going on where it's like, yo, we're going to fuck him up when we see him. Nah, not like Still that. waiting on that. <laughs> what do you? Uh, what do people say when they come up to you in real life, though? Like, what, what's, like, the most common thing that you hear uh, if you're in the mall or some shit? I'm, I'm actually glad I don't have that one thing because that would fucking kill me. Like, mm-hmm. yo, 
This is an Instagram dude. Ask him to do that one thing. I don't have that yet. Right. Thank God I don't because I, I hate that. But I don't know. They'll just be like, they'll be like, yo, Drewski, or they'll they'll just yell my name and they'll be like, yo, you're funny as shit. Like, that's the most common thing I get. Like, yo, you're literally like, you're going to be one of the biggest comedians. Like, yo, I see you going to different places than a lot of these. Other. Like, they'll say shit like that. But I've never gotten the, yo, do that one thing or do it. They might bring up like a random video, like the frat guy shit. Right. But it's never like, that's that one thing that he does. You, you ever, know what I'm saying? You ever get people trying to like film skits with you like in public? Like, oh, yeah, can you do this? Yeah, dude, <laughs> a dude at fucking, uh, we threw a party. Um, me, Justin Combs, Odell, and all of them this past weekend. And a dude, obviously the fucking security didn't do their job. We had <laughs> security. Security didn't do their job. A dude came to me in the party and he was just like, he said, yo, like I'm an upcoming rapper, bro. And uh, I feel like, um... If you could just do a skit for me real quick, I'll just record right now. Starts pulling out his phone. I said, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I'll throw you whatever. It don't matter. I got money. You saying I don't got money? I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I never said you didn't have money. It's just like, yo, yeah. I'm not about to do a skit for you for promotion, and you're just going to put on the flashlight and just start recording me. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. So I instantly do the uh, fucking security suck dick at that party. <laughs> but what kind they of literally let anybody through. We told right. them, only let somebody in that knows somebody. That guy knew fucking nobody. There's right. no way. But everybody's geniuses at figuring out what they could say to the security. You ever been like stuck there at the line, like trying to get in and just listening yeah. to the stories that yeah. people are telling yeah. the are security? Oh my God. Yeah. Girls are saying anything. Oh God. Yeah. Girls are literally saying any and everything to get in that bitch. Just swear screaming to out the names of the people that they know, but it's like a party promoter. It's not even like anyone important. It's just like the security is just so. Or not it's always that fuck. one dude that's lying and saying he fucking knows everybody in that bitch, but doesn't know nobody right because he's naming me. off real names he that, just, that was me a long time ago realistically really you know? well not naming off random names but i was just saying you know whatever i could to try to get in there to get in the game try to hand the security guard 20 bucks and yeah. just look at you yeah like, what the fuck what's your thing what why were you trying to get in there try to go in these like expensive ass clubs trying like to meet network. girls yeah oh i'm no, trying, trying to like, network get drunk and meet girls because i hate dudes that try to network they try to like get oh, your no. number and shit oh my fuck i didn't even really, fuck i wouldn't even have thought dog of that, like you're gonna sit here and fucking bag me in the club <laughs> like literally a dude comes up to me this was like a month ago he, like literally bagging me like yo he's like yo bro i seen you were talking to some girls and shit i got hoes i got like 10 hoes I'm like, dude, I don't need you to help me get girls. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yo, take my number down, bro. I got a whole bunch of hoes, bro. Dudes do be trying to pull You're going to bag me in this club <laughs> telling me you got girls? Like, you're literally going to bag me. You're bagging me. Right. That's what you're doing. You're but, bagging like, me. Like, his way of trying to appeal to you yeah. is telling you that he can he got get girls. you some pussy. Yeah, I could get me, you could get me some pussy. What right. the fuck? It would be one. If he's like, I could get you some money. Like They're like, all right, maybe you can get my phone number. If you yeah, but even that, I'm like, now. I'm good on that. You're good too. on the money yeah, offers as well? Anything mm. that you have to, as a dude, you have to get my number in that club and I don't fucking know you, that's mm. just weird. You're oh, bagging yeah. me. Just bag me. No, but that's a real thing. Like a lot of celebrities, they get back. They get back. They get back because it's like in certain situations, some dudes are like, "Oh, you too good," and then shoot up at the yeah. club. Yeah, that's dude. Dudes need etiquette lessons, you know. It's weird, man. That's facts. How long have you felt famous for, though? What, like a uh, year, maybe. I wouldn't even say I'm famous yet, man. I'm working. You I'm don't working feel out. it? Nah. Uh, I'd probably say like a year. Look, that's humbly flexing, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah. Uh, it this depends past, on where you go. This past year, no, this past year, like, becoming friends, like, not just having, like, celebrities that just hit me up, like, now becoming friends with some people that I used to look up to is actually being like, wow. Mm. And not just, like, being around, like, on some clout shit, like, oh, yeah, I'm with them or nothing. Just literally, genuinely, like, might go, like, kick it or might go paintball. And just, like, just having different celebrity friends is like, damn. Now it's like, all right. You I'm in the really, club. Yeah, you, you, to be accepted, it's like a different type of drug. It's like, damn, that's yeah. what I wanted. So now I'm starting to get it. It's like, whoa, this is, this is like, it's actually happening now. Just to be in the category. It yeah, kind of says, like says that you made it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you just want to be accepted and it's just like, all right. Not, not like on no clout chaser shit or nothing, because I'm not even like that. Like literally just being around so many people would just be like, wow, just to even have a conversation with some people. It's like, mm. damn. If you like this clip, make sure you go watch the full interview on No Jumper.